Welcome to The Metal Prognosis, my name is Lee, and I've got a new toy here, but it's no secret on this channel that I'm a huge fan of the Solid Studio by Nuix. As soon as we started adding in our own impulse responses, or our own cab simulators in here, you can get some brutal sounds and tones uh, for your guitars out of this thing, and brilliant for uh, direct recording, which is amazing. So when I heard they're bringing out this, and heard a couple of uh, pre-release samples, uh, I was super excited, and I finally got my hands on it. But I just left it in the box for now because I just want to show you quickly, like it's a big box for a pretty standard size uh, multiple effects unit. Uh, but it's very well packaged and put together with everything else uh, that comes in there to make sure it's all nice and protected and good. Uh, so the, the main thing that I want to focus on this video uh, for everyone is first impressions. I've heard a lot of people say in their reviews that I've seen on this that it's got a really user-friendly interface. So I'm gonna put that to the test today. I'm gonna to just put the camera to this, turn it on uh, with you all watching, and let's see how easy it is to navigate and go through it without having to um, kind of give ourselves a warm up first. So purely factory settings, we're not gonna muck around anything in this video with adding anything to it. Just purely what do we get out of this if we just get it, turn it on, and that's it. So let's uh, move the cameras around a bit, set this all up, and let's start making some fun noise. All right, now I've got everything set up. Let's turn this on. Simple switch, excellent, grab my guitar. Get a pick. Wait for it to load up. So we've got the Recto Beast. With no sound yet. There we go. Get that master up. So very noisy, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more volume. So let's navigate through this and see what we've got to work with. So let's just go straight up. Doesn't sound too bad for a clean. Nice lead, more clean. one clean all right let's go back to all right so it's got lots of presets here and the final one okay Let's see if we can start editing this and clean it up and see how user-friendly this actually is. Uh, where is edit? Nowhere, all right, so they don't have an edit mode. Let's see if we can just go in and start. So that's a volume for the wah. Stuff. Okay, let's... How do we edit stuff? It's really cool pictures on there.
Do we have a noise gate here? Because this is getting a little bit... That's the amps. Still the amps. That's oh, an amp on and off. How do we move it across? All right, there for the dials, cool. Ah, across. IR, EQ, sender returns, mods, delay, reverb. All right, so they've got a noise gate at the end. Okay. Let's go back to the amp, compression. What have we got there? A tube screener, that's always cool. So let's go back to a nice dirty amp. this a bit. A change of the speed. No delays, no reverb, just a gate. I wish we could muck around with the gate a little bit more. Right, so it's definitely not touch screen, that's all right. Um, yeah, so there's no options with the gate. That is just crank it. <laughs> it's cranking it way too much. Not a huge fan, but let's not dwell on it too much because all right, so we have some other Oh I peeked there for a bit and realize it. Let's see what else we've got to muck around with here. Wah, comp, tube screamer, that all looks oh let's crank the level up more. And it's good, cabinet's not the best. So with the cabinet, it would be good to go through. Uh, I don't know what oh, it's got two there for, what that represents. Ah, oh, okay, so we can actually move the mic. Oh, 
and give it different mics. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is. There's a classic, just 57. Now there's just a quick run through of it. Uh, a lot of it is just me exploring and going through it, but um, very easy to get lost in here, which is not a bad thing in regards to all the different settings. Like now we know how we can move the mics uh, and change the actual mics too, and get some pretty cool different things. Um, but I think the main strength in this would be adding our own uh, impulse response here. So our own speaker emulator there. Um, to really help shape it and bring it alive. But I'm really keen, which I'll probably do in my next video, to see how easy that is, as well as how it reacts to it all as well. So compared to putting it with uh, like the solid studio, like we'll put the same IRs through here and, and via um, the MG30 to see the difference, to see if they react the same or if they don't. So with this little patch here, Let's just do a quick edit on it. Um, less tone coming through the driver. Too bad. Let's get some EQ happening. Definitely keep the EQ on. That's super sensitive. I think that will do for now. Um, I'm really keen to actually delve into a little bit deeper to try sharpen up the tone a little bit, but I don't want to bore everyone because you know, that could take a little bit of time. So let's just go with this one here. Let's just do a quick jam because jams are always fun. We'll add some bass, drums, we'll double up on the guitars um, just because we've got it all set up and it's ready to go and it's always fun. So sit back, relax, enjoy the tune and I'll meet you on the other side. We can have a little quick chat about it and give you my, my uh, thoughts on it with my uh, first impression of the new X30, uh, or the new X MG30, sorry.
All right, time for just some final thoughts on my first impression of this. So just turning it on and trying to find my way through it. So it took me a little bit to realize on how to move it from different chain to chain, but that's fine. Um, I don't think it's anything against this, but it didn't take too long, so not too bad at all. Uh, I'm curious to know if you can change around any of the positions of like where you want the EQ or where you want any other effects um, to see how they mould differently. Uh, very cool, it's got a very large display screen uh, compared to other multiple effects units that I've uh, used in the past, so that's really cool. Very bright and colourful, which is a nice change, I like that. Uh, the different amps and speaker um, modules that they had in here were pretty cool. Um, definitely didn't get the type of sound that I normally like to, old I could be attracted towards. Uh, but nothing against this unit though, and as you saw, skipping through it, we could have definitely tried to mix a little bit more in here and there. Uh, awesome that they've got different positions for uh, where you want to put the microphone to get different uh, characteristics out of either effect that you have on here. Uh, I don't know if you could do that if you loaded up your own um, IRs or cabinet simulators on here. I'd be surprised if you could, uh, but you normally don't need to because they're pre-EQ'd and pre-set up anyway, and that's why you like them because they've got your characteristics. And so, yeah, first impression was pretty cool. The clean, the clean tones, which is normally my least focused thing on <laughs> when I'm dealing with that, was actually um, pretty colourful, which I enjoyed. Uh, it wasn't just too uh, bland and warm. Uh, I like this different characteristics. Just this is purely going with the preset that um, I stumbled across on here. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so all in all, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool unit. Uh, thoroughly enjoy it. But I'm going to do a couple more videos on this uh, to see how far we can push it and what else we can get out of it. Because um, yeah, this video is just to see how easy it is it actually to go through. And the answer is pretty darn easy um, and also very easy to get a little bit lost in as well which I started to kind of fall in that realm and kind of to pull myself back to go you know what let's not because I could easily spend another 15-20 minutes just trying to work on certain EQs uh, for the guitar tone that uh, I was not so much hoping to get but I was enjoying working towards uh, so that's definitely a good thing so there's a lot more that this can do when delved in deep uh, the reaction of the EQ section though uh, was very sensitive, which isn't a bad thing, but uh, it, it definitely shows a different ratio of frequencies that you can alter with each section, and so that's really good and really positive. Uh, the guitar tone that I quickly, very, very quickly just uh, put together using only the in house stuff in here was pretty dry actually, uh, listening back to the isolated uh, mix of it that I, <laughs> that I quickly did. Uh, but in the mix, uh, it actually sounded pretty decent. It wasn't too bad. I was, um, it felt good actually playing it. So while I was actually jamming, the, the feel of it felt like um, a standard, uh, what I like to call an analog amp and speakers. So that was really good that uh, it got that type of emotion out of it while I was actually playing and that type of reaction as well. So yeah, very impressed in that regards. So definitely, if you want to see more of this, keep your eye out for more videos, because I definitely want to do a couple more of this one. And as I said before in the intro, I'm definitely keen to put my own IRs in here, or ones that I've bought, to see how they react, especially ones that I've put in here as well, uh, because they worked out an absolute treat with these. So I'm confident that this machine is going to be able to pick up those ones and um, uh, incorporate it in its system for lack of a better term, uh, really successfully. Uh, so yeah, definitely keen to see how that's gonna work as well. Um, so yeah, fun little quick video of just first turning it on. And if you were to buy it and were to turn it on and just plug it straight in, whether it be through headphones or through your own mixer or whatever setup you've got, this is the type of sounds and uh, results you are gonna get straight off the bat. So I'm saying that, um, lots of fun, little quick video and let me do my usual sign off now whether this video is in the foreground or the background absolutely appreciate your company and being a part of these conversations and i thoroughly look forward to uh, chatting with you again next time and until next time please stay safe